Hello SEO folks, I am Francois. I want to drive you through our duplicate content tab. Um, with OnCall, we can identify any kind of duplication issues. Either it's on your uh, title tags, your description tags, your H1 tags, um, uh, or even in your uh, between your body tags. Uh, I mean the the content that is displayed uh, on your page to your users. You can click on every metric. Uh, so let's click on this one: pages with uh, near duplicates. Um, you have access uh, by clicking on this uh, to um, uh, an exhaustive list of your uh, pages with uh, near duplicates. You can add uh, some um, uh, columns such as the content similarity ratio. Uh, you, you can order uh, the, this list. You can even add um, uh, a filter. So, okay, uh, give me all pages. Uh, that have um, more than 80% similarity. There you go. If we order this, you can see that we have only uh, pages with um, uh, more than 80% uh, similarity ratio. Um, let's go back to the duplicate content tab. Uh, we also aggregate your, your pages by uh, type of duplication issues um, so that it's uh, uh, easy for you to prioritize your work on this uh, uh, kind of uh, SEO issue. Uh, we have the um, exhaustive view of all your pages, the ones with no duplicated content uh, and the ones with uh, duplicated content issues. Um, we also uh, group your pages by uh, kind of uh, near duplicated content issues and by page group so that you can see where are located your near duplicates. And then we have something we are very proud of. Uh, we have a representation of all duplicated pages clusters. I mean that we have uh, group uh, pages by uh, very similar content. So each uh, of these squares represents um, uh, uh, similar content. So and the, um, the number uh, on the square uh, represents the number of pages within the group. So here you can see at the uh, bottom right that I have uh, six pages um, dealing with the same content or very similar content. Um, and there are, uh, they, they are uh, six of them here. Um, and um, we give you uh, something very cool, uh, which is an information about uh, how you uh, manage uh, your canonicals uh, within uh, your, your website. And uh, we are telling you uh, either if there is a, a canonical uh, set or not uh, within uh, your, your, your pages. Um, and um, we are telling you uh, something very important, which is uh, if the canonical uh, within a group uh, is not uh, pointing to the same URL. I mean, for these three pages here, uh, they don't have um, uh, the same canonical. So that's an issue because uh, it's, it looks like uh, these three pages are uh, dealing with very uh, similar content, but they are not uh, point pointing their canonical to uh, the same page. And we'll see uh, later um, that um, this is very, uh, very um, impacting your, um, your uh, crawl frequency. So uh, you better be aware of that. And uh, if your canonicals are matching um, uh, the same URL uh, within a group, then you have no problem. You can filter these uh, data sets by uh, number of pages within the groups or by similarity ratio. So we make it very, very actionable. And you can click on any uh, square to access uh, the list of uh, pages with near duplicates. So, um, and uh, uh, talking about uh, actionable data, we also give you uh, the view uh, by uh, page depth 
and bypass so that you can um, uh, jump into, into the parts of your website uh, that have uh, the, the, um, a lot of uh, near duplicates. So I hope you, uh, you will enjoy this tool and uh, uh, feel free to give us your, your feedback. Uh, we will uh, really appreciate that. Uh, and uh, feel free to uh, uh, send your question on Twitter at uh, OnCrawl. Um, thanks for listening, guys, and uh, happy crawling.